Hi folks, Total Sales in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks, folks. And if you watch our sales, you know we sell one of every kind of truck in the world. By the way, let me show you something. I'm not trying Nobody to be wants to see that. with my cap, but the VA is whittling on me, and so uh, no one wants to see that, but they don't want to see me trying to cool breeze with this cap on either, buddy. But we're, we're going to list the truck today. Uh, gosh, folks, if I was going to go buy a truck today or if I was going to go order one, this would be just exactly the way I, what I would buy because I hunt, I fish, I pull boats pull big trailers and that kind of thing. This truck is just ideal, plus it rides and drives like a sports car. This is a neat truck. It's a 2015, 2015 Ford XLT, four wheel drive. F-350. F-350, I was gonna get the F-350, son. The F-350 sitting on a perfect set of uh, tires, spares underneath it. Uh, someone put a, a, a really expensive set of wheels on it. It's only got 160, 70,000 miles on it. It's got a small leveling kit. It's been leveled. This is a grand truck, but the interior is just exactly what you want. Now, if you're willing a truck to put to work, this is perfect for that. If you've got a ranch or a farm, perfect for that. If you want a truck to go to church in on Sunday and drive during the week, perfect for that. This is just a wonderful truck. Come on, look at it. It's got a Raptor grill, lights up, got an, the factory fog lights, got an extra set of LED cubes on it. The windshield's perfect. Look oh. at these tires. Boy, these tires are pretty, folks. I don't know how they're going to, wheels, I don't know how they're going to show up in this video. They're 18 inch wheels with uh, 35 inch Firestone Destination tires. It's an expensive set of tires you can see under here. We show this, folks, because all of our customers come from the Midwest, East Coast, and they're always interested about, you know, has it got any rust or any of that? Well, it does, but it's a local southern truck. It's not ding and ding and all that, not beat up with here. Never been a work truck, never been a farm truck, never been in the mud. Some kids not well, driving I mean, their daddy's have been in trucks, the but at uh, some point, once or twice. It's not been used. Uh, for that, but the headliner's perfect, windows, door locks, tilt, cruise, stereo, expensive floor mats, you can see the rubber mats are perfect, and this is just the way you want a truck. I don't understand people who are outdoors people who want carpet and all that, but look in here. You show all this, son, there's no dust, no mud, no nothing. It's not bruised and skinned up. Uh, And we didn't clean it up like this, trust me. This is the way we got it. We can't clean one up this, this way. Uh, we can't clean one up, period. See, no no, no paint work, folks. Uh, painters never good around to getting that. It's got the extra leaf for towing, got the full size spare. Great truck. Bed's perfect, not beat up. It's prepped for. Uh, turnover ball and all that, that's from the Gooseneck or fifth wheel hitch. Not beat up, not been backed into anything, the bumper straight, the bed, bed straight all over. Four wheel drives, I said there's not any, no, no scratches, no dings, no pings around on it. Now I'm sure somebody will find go, well, what about that? But no, we don't see anything. Uh, look at Look at this line in the back of the bed here, how straight and perfect it is. Back seats, looks like no one's been back there. Somebody used this to drive, as a driver. Uh, it was something well, I'm sure somebody did something. drive it. Uh, <laughs> it's, a good uh, thing. it's a good thing, I feel. Somebody drove this, well, uh, no kidding. Stuff in here. You don't say. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I feel bad, buddy. Dash it and crack. You can look down in the pockets. They're not covered in grease and mud. Look in here. This belonged to an environmental services contractor that had a fleet of these, but this one was obviously specked out by a supervisor who cruised around in it because it hadn't been hauling. Uh, ranch hands and no. welders and 
people pipe fitters around in it. It's it's clean. I mean, look at look at look how big it is. Look how it stands up. The stance on it. I'm telling you, folks, I like this truck. Whoever buys this truck is going to like it a lot too. I mean, it's just that kind of truck. It's very little you can pick on this. Uh, plus, it's going to be a bargain. Check around on eBay before you call Dan or bid on it. See what other people want for them, uh, for one just like it, and then try to buy it. Or more importantly, or better, call your local dealer and ask him if he's got one and what he wants for it. But if you're going to list this with just a low reserve, I uh, something. Anyway, if you have, I don't. He doesn't know how. He's call me and make me an yet. offer. But if in fact you need some questions about it, or you have a question about it, give Dan a call. 601-720-2857. 601-720-2857. But we're listing a really nice truck, folks. A 2015 Ford F-350, one ton turbo diesel, four wheel drive, XLT four door truck, just, just got it all. Windows, door locks, tilt and cruise. Good miles, sitting on a perfect set of tires, a beautiful set of wheels, leveled up, just ready to go. If you if you decide to uh, drive it home, you'll have a great drive home. If you decide to ship it, which more people are doing lately because it's so uh, cost effective, you'll be tickled when you see it. You'll recognize it. Great truck, 2004, 2015 Ford F-350 four-wheel drive. Thanks a lot for watching our video, folks. We appreciate it very much. Look forward to visiting with you about this truck and seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Hi folks, Dan Dale here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive. Before I do, just want to show you under the hood a couple things. First of all, we obviously don't clean under hoods. This is just how it came into us. So you can see it's maybe a little dusty, but it's not muddy and caked in mud. This truck's clearly spent little, if any, time off-road. And the reason I can say that is when you get mud holes splashing around and that muddy water hits these hot engine parts, stuff like these bare aluminum pieces, they get a patina that you just can't clean off. And this one doesn't have any of that. But the main thing I want to show you is, take this cap off. You see, it's got the normal blow-by. Every 6.7 has even look back at my old videos I got a, I had a 15,000 mile one that smoked worse than this the main thing is though you see I set the cap down it doesn't blow off if it were to blow off that would mean it had blow by and all that is is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase but this one doesn't have any of that and although blow by is not necessarily a sign of a bad engine it is a sign of wear but it's not an issue here, so now we're going to hop in and take it on a test drive. Okay, now we're in the truck. going to take you on a little test drive. But before I do, show you a few things. You can see being a 15, got the exhaust brake, trailer brake controller, upfitter switches, electronic shift, four-wheel drive. It does have the uh, steering wheel controls. I can get the turn here. Steering wheel controls. It's got a... Uh, the upgraded radio got the uh, Bluetooth and everything, so you can Bluetooth your phone in. Power mirrors, um, of course, headlights. Got the whole control center with the outside temperature, compass heading, all that. The only light you'll find lit on the dash, you can see it's got the tire pressure light on. And the reason for that is these are oversized tires that run at a different pressure than it's looking for stock. So it shows that tire light. Most Ford dealers, if you ask them nicely, they can reprogram the computer to look for the correct tire, tire pressure. Um, so, or you can just ignore it. It's up to you. Uh, only other thing I can really nitpick, got one little rock pick in the windshield. Not a big deal, but it's there, although, you know, if you want us to put a new windshield in it, we get a new windshield for 150 bucks. So, uh, not really a big deal on these trucks. It's got the overhead console with uh, two sets of holders for your sunglasses. You can see.
see it's got sync with the USB and auxiliary inputs, uh, traction control. You'll have to excuse my shaky cam work, camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. But one thing you can take away from all these bumps and potholes I'm running over is that this truck is tight. There's no clunks, there's no bangs, no squeaks, no rattles, any of that. It um, doesn't have any slop in it. Uh, all that's in good shape. Even the steering wheel's not ripped or torn or anything. Now, let me just be up front with you. It's got the XLT badges, it's got you know the upgraded radio, it's got power windows locks, tilt cruise. It's got basically everything, but I can't swear that it's an XLT. It may be an XL because usually XLTs have these chrome rings on the, the vents. So that leads me to believe maybe it's an XL. But you know, buy it based on the condition. I mean XL, XLT, not really that much difference unless you start getting into a Lariat or a Platinum. So, you know, this thing's got all the equipment anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. But like we said, it's got um, the exhaust brake, which all 15s and up, they've got a lot of upgrades compared to the old ones. They got 40 extra horsepower, bigger turbo, bigger injectors, exhaust brake, just a ton of upgrades and improvements. Now, they, unlike 6.4s, where I tell everybody, just go ahead and delete them. You'll pick up five miles per gallon. These 6.7s, this truck is stock. It's not deleted. Uh, we can, you know, hook you up on that. Uh, you just have to call me to discuss your options and prices. But honestly, 440 horsepower, that's plenty. It gets great fuel economy. Uh, the hard, Unless you're towing something super heavy. I mean, I've got a 16, and I have to fill the def tank maybe once every two or three months. And it's, even then, it's only like 10 bucks. So not really that big a deal. And since it uses that fluid to clean the soot filter instead of just dumping fuel down the motor like the older 6.4s, I mean, you pick up a little bit of fuel economy when you delete one, but it's really not that, I mean, it's like one or two miles per gallon. So you have to do a lot of driving to make up in fuel savings what it'll cost to delete is uh, basically what I'm getting at. Although, you know, if you want to delete it, call me, 601-376-9869. I'll be glad to discuss all your options as far as that goes. I mean, you can go for a basic delete or you can go for, you know, full exhaust, engine monitoring, and shift on the fly tuning and all that good stuff. There's a lot of different options out there, so just, uh, just give me a call on that. But if you want, fly in and drive it home. We encourage everybody, pick them up in person. We'll be glad to pick you up at the airport here in Jackson, Mississippi, no extra charge. We'll bring you back to our office about 10 miles away. We'll do all the paperwork and feedback and everything and, and let you get on the road. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to drive this truck anywhere. I mean, it's super tight, fires right up, issue free. So if you're interested in that, that'd be great. But we understand most of our customers are from the Northeast and the Midwest. And they're buying from us for two reasons. One, we got great deals, and two, we got rust free trucks that haven't been in the salt. So, with that being said, we understand a lot of you don't have time to spend two or three days flying or driving down and then driving home. So, don't let the idea of having to ship it put you off from being interested in the truck. Or if you get online and look at prices and, and quotes for shipping, don't let the prices scare you off because odds are, depending on how much of a hurry you're in, we can save you as much as half off. And the reason for that is most of these places you find online, they're not actual shippers. They don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road. They're just brokers. And they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and they call the deposit. But all it really is is their broker's fee for finding somebody to haul your truck. And they all use this one website that's not open to the public called Central Dispatch to do it. Well, we jumped through all the fee, paid all the hoop, let me back up, jumped through all the hoops, paid all the fees to be on Central Dispatch. So basically, 
we can give you a wholesale rate on shipping and the way it works is basically you pay us for the truck we find somebody to haul it we do all the logistics and when they drop the truck off you pay them in the driver in cash for the shipping so real smooth easy deal if you're interested shoot me a text or an email and I'll get you a good ballpark quote on shipping uh, and if you're anywhere near Dallas Atlanta Houston or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida then I can get you a real good deal on shipping so just give me a call if you're interested and I'll let you know on that one thing I want to show you before we go you can see the dash here maybe you can't with the sunlight but there's no warning lights lit no service lights anything just that one tire light and I like to show the dash after we've been driving a while okay had to change my battery but anyway uh, what I was saying is as far as shipping make it a smooth simple transaction um, shoot me a text or an email for a good ballpark figure on shipping a couple other things I forgot to point out of course it's got tow haul mode but you see the plus and minus it's got the manual shift mode if you want to shift it yourself and you can also see this is how I like to drive it you see I added the gears in so you can lock out gears like right now one through six is available but I can bump it down a notch now only one through five is available now only one through four but what that does that's real helpful when you're towing because you know you don't want it shifting in and out of uh, overdrive so if you're in the hills or you know you're at that certain speed where the transmission may be shifting back and forth a lot you can just lock it out so you don't have to worry about it it's kind of a kind of a handy option and feature to have when you're towing mainly but uh, I guess in general if you like but anyway just something I wanted to to point out oh and, and like I was saying with the dash you can see the only thing on is that light for the tires I like to point the dash out after I've been driving a while because you know it's easy to sit there and hook up a scanner to the truck and cut a light off then take a picture and say oh look no lights lit but as soon as you start driving if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it that lights gonna come right back on so that's why I like to take a picture after we've been driving a while so you can see for yourself there really are no lights lit on the truck so with all that being said if you have any questions give me a call 601-376-9869 if you want to know what it takes to buy it give me a call if you want to know about uh, getting a delete done getting a tune uh, any of that stuff just call me 601-376-9869 be glad to answer any questions you may have um, give you the bottom line price on it I'll let you know about shipping which whatever give me a call 601-376-9869 thanks again for watching the video and listening to everything we had to say and look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Okay, I forgot. I got to thinking. Let me just double check on that tire light. And uh, we went by and one tire was seven pounds low. So we put air in it. And you can see now, no tire light. A lot of times these tire, these, when these trucks have big tires and aftermarket wheels, they gonna throw a, uh, a tire pressure light and I just assumed that's what it was but I got to thinking and figured I'd double check so sure enough one tire was just just a hair low just just enough to throw the, the light on so you can see got a little air in it now she's all set so once again thanks for watching our video and everything we gotta say and look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.